Hi, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I got a B name, right? Like Bob or Becky or, I don't know, came popped in my head right before I turned on the camera. So it could be someone saying hello, someone reaching out. We're going for tour, um, maybe a Taurus, but this is for Gemini. It could be a fire sign who wants to reach out and talk to you. They have some sort of confession that they want to tell you, okay? Mm, what is what is I would keep wanting to say Taurus but this is for Gemini and I, they could be a Taurus as well or a Taurus that you know wants to tell you something but we have there's obstacles blocks pathways there's some sort of delays something is being delayed or this person has obstacles and they're let's see obstacles to passion obstacles to be with you they could be at a distance there could be that traveling involved or something like that Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I feel like there's someone at a distance who has feelings for you, but... So they could tell you. Maybe that's why they're going to confess. They have feelings for you, but they're being blocked for some reason. Whether they're it's a, you know, they're already in a relationship, they're at a distance, their work gets in the way. What's going on for Gemini? Maybe that's what I was hearing. Not Bob, but I was hearing like blocked. Ooh. Some of you are going to end something with someone else because they have put you in a third party. This may be the same situation or something different. I see you putting the work and effort into something right here, but what you're going to find is that justice is coming to you because if you are dealing with someone who's like a third party situation, you'll receive justice for like ending that, putting the effort into yourself. This could be a work situation, but three of cups, the wheel of fortune and the nine of wands. Yeah. Okay. Some of you are like bossing up. You're coming in as your masculine energy or you are the masculine, but there's definitely messages here. I'm getting like, you may have an argument with someone this week. So I would just kind of like, I'm going to say look out because I think it's long overdue. I think someone's hurt your feelings or pissed you off or vice versa. Um, Nine of Swords is in reverse. That's telling me not to worry. Somebody's in, all about the games. They just like, like the um, drama or they just, they're not in it for anything long term. You may find that out or know that. Someone who's going to, someone may disappoint you again. Someone who's disappointed you before could be dis disappointing you again. They may be saying that they're going to come visit or see you and they don't. They may have excuses all the time. They may be in a third party or they drink too much or they party too much or something. I think you're tired of this person. I see you dropping this person this week. I feel like you will have justice. I think this is a karmic. I think this is something that's been long overdue to leave your life. It's not moving anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I think you know that. It's difficult to tell this person that, but I think that's why the justice is coming in. Something, I feel like you will be rewarded for letting this situation go. This person always has some sort of excuses what I'm getting with the Ten of Wands, but I feel like it's their fault. I feel like they always create some sort of drama. Now there could be like someone who has passed away in their life and their family or something recently and maybe they have to tend to that and take care of that but still it's like one thing after another is kind of what i'm getting with this person they're going to manifest new love they may want to try to manifest you back they may also try to manifest someone to make you jealous so they're manifesting somebody else to make you jealous it's kind of what i'm seeing there's a lot of deception around this person but again i just and I think you're, you're, you know it, you see it, but you haven't really done anything about it, but I think you're getting ready to. Yeah, because it's this, they're not moving forward. Let's go back to the Nine of Wands. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. This usually tells me that like there could be kids involved. This could be, again, a third party where you're only going to get to the Four of Wands in this, in this partnership. You're not going to have the Ten of Cups because they're already married or with somebody else. They've already, you know. I feel like this person could even be dating someone else besides you. So just be aware of that. There could be like four people involved now. But I think you um, don't let this inter interfere with your work. I'm sorry, they're channeling fast. So they kind of switch gears on me. So um, let me see. What is this communication? Yeah, you're not you're not bothered by this anymore. More in communication, a confession. I'm kind of getting... Could be a lot of talk this week too with this person or other people. I'm getting also... Some of you may be up for an advancement at your job. Some of you, it's kind of like a lot of your energy has been going into this person, the situation, and you're going to channel it into like asking your boss for a raise or asking your boss for a new territory. If you're not working for someone else, I'm getting someone is 
chasing or going after their dreams like it's like it's like the passion and the energy and the anger is going to be channeled into something else that's going to make you money it's like you've enough's enough you've had it it's kind of what i'm getting there could be somebody at your work also who you start talking to that may lead to something yeah there's an offer here a date going out you're going to get along with this person it could be a fire sign or this is you or something like that um, I get if it's someone at your job or something like that, you'll actually get along with them really well. You have a lot in common. Some of them may go by that like have a nickname like I get it's like a food, like a muffin or a cupcake or a cookie or that maybe someone's um, name for you. I also got what did I just get before that that I. Um, I miss, I miss something there. They send them too fast. Positive work outcomes. Yeah, so I'm getting that. If you are talking to someone about a job or work, it's going to turn out well. It does say consistent efforts will bring rewards and major purchase will be worth making. I get somebody's also getting involved like with the stocks, options, um, things like that as well. That comes up a lot. So it's been more lately. Communication. A reunion could bring love or rekindling of friendships. A lucky win also seems likely right now. I, get, I do get a lot of talking this week because all the pages popped up. And reflection. So a friendship or a situation, um, a relationship may end, but there's going to be more new ones that start blossoming or growing stronger. I feel like you've been putting your effort and focus on the wrong person, the wrong situation. And you've possibly missed some other um, friendships or things like that as well along the way that you could have, you know, already had something new started with someone else. There may be a Sagittarius also who's been thinking about you lately. Now, this could be a friend or a family member. It doesn't have to be, you know, love would be something platonic. Also, Taurus is important. There's a Taurus who's thinking about you all the time, and they're coming up in your reading. Where did that go? It's a masculine energy, in case you're wondering. It's a masculine energy Taurus. And what about this Taurus? What do they want? They're at a distance. Hmm. Maybe they want to reach out and talk to you. Maybe they want to communicate about moving or something. What does the Taurus want? Yeah, they want to get together with you. They've been spying on you lately. You may have a lot in common. Page of coins, who they're going to reach out. So we got your energy and their energy. A lot of talking. Page of swords, page of coin. You may be in a relationship with this person or they want to be in a relationship with you. Some of them may live in the state of Ohio. I'm getting Ohio for some reason all of a sudden. It could be Idaho as well. I'm also getting Alaska and Arkansas. So, I don't know. A state that starts with a vowel. All right. Yeah, it's for some of you, I get there's an earth sign that has their eye on you who thinks that the two of you would be in a relationship. You'd be very happy in a relationship together. Five of Swords, the Moon, the King of Wands. Again, this is the confession. There's something you're going to find out about the fire sign. But this person is very manipulative. They really try to work things to go in their favor. They always have excuses. Yeah, listen to your intuition with this person. I get they bought too much of your time, meaning that you've wasted too much time on them. And you're just going to waste more time with this person because they're not going anywhere. All right. What else is going on for Gemini? You're one in a million. Embrace your rarity. Exactly. This person doesn't deserve you. Pufferfish, but you need to know your limits. Have better boundaries because this person's about ready to make you explode. It's like you put up with enough and, you know, enough's enough. One more. You also have the card of don't give up. Help is on the way. Under the deck, you do have the card of no. So there is something that is um, being told no in the future or something. Let's see. What is that about? These obstacles are creating blocks in your balance. They're creating... Um, Balance the obstacles. There's just something that's been just like blocking your balance. Like you're always feeling like another shoe's going to drop. Or like there's always just more, more bills than there is money. Or something like that. Or you have just too many things 
always that you've got to get done. I see you juggling a lot of balls, always busy, busy, busy. And I'm <laughs> so all right. Balance the obstacles. You got I get this is a work environment too for some of you. Some of you, your job is causing you way too much stress and it's leading to health issues or it will. Check in with your doctor. I get some of you, it's, I can't, you know, blood pressure type of things, headaches. You need to, you need to scale back. Your job is going to wear you out. This isn't how you should be living. So it's too much is what I'm getting. I feel like some of you need to downsize or um, make some sort of change so you don't have so much overhead or so many things that, you know, are weighing on you because I'm getting you guys are really off balance right now and it's feeling like stress to me that's what I'm kind of getting because I'm getting headaches okay slowness protection the turtle card and cunning and stealth rethink things sit down make a plan be strategic be cunning if you need to be I think this is in more ways than one have things work for you like get people or things to work for you not against you or something Seeing too many things in black and white is what they're saying. You need to see things more on a gray scale. Also, there's someone who likes you, who wants to reach out, and they would be a very good help. Obviously, you don't want to use anyone or be, you know, not that you would. But there is people that are, like, around you who could help you that you need to take advantage of that. Also, some of you need to get an assistant. You need to hire someone to help you, especially if you're working from home. And this could even be like somebody on Fiverr or Upworks or, you know, you could get a virtual assistant as well. Or hire somebody out to do something for you. Some of you are traveling back and forth and you don't need to. You need to get somebody in the other location to take care of a property or take care of a home or take care of something for you. You could hire someone and it would take a lot off your plate. You also own something that you could sell that would actually make it you have something that's in high demand, like a coin, a card, a book, a old car. I guess I already said car. I'm sorry. I, I saw two different cars there. Did I say card? I said card. Sometimes when I channel, I don't even know what's coming through. Um, okay. Those all stop. So I'll just keep going here. Seven of swords, the six of coins, the eight of swords, someone who owes you money you been waiting for this person you need to talk to him or send the messages some of you I get like you have rental properties or something I'm also getting someone owes you money and they're not planning to pay you anytime soon FYI so I wouldn't wait I would jump on that I don't know if you need to do something legal or you know be cunning or stealth strategic also that can mean also if you're thinking your boss is going to give you a raise you may not get the raise don't wait for it it's saying don't wait for things. Don't wait for the money to come in. Don't wait. Go pursue it. Go after it. Don't expect someone to give you something that's owed. They're not going to. They're shady. I guys have a lot of interesting messages coming through. Okay. All right. What else does Gemini need to know? You may be dealing with a person who name starts with an F, like a Frank, a Frankie or something like that. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but they're just acknowledging it. Oh, hands of cards came out and it's facing, must have flipped around. I wasn't even looking at them with a twin flame. Careful if you're dealing with someone who you consider a twin flame. They may not be telling you everything. It says being, again, it says, look at this card. It says being strategic and you got cunning. Hmm. Soulmate. Go for a soulmate. Boat, heartbroken, and not enough. I have to also say here, I get for some of you, you like the drama. You like the drama of the chase or you someone or someone else likes the drama of the chase. So whichever side you're on. But there may be someone who... Some of you also live on a boat or have a boat. But there's somebody here that they're just not enough. I'm getting there's not enough here. I think it's this fire sign and it's time to move on. This person may have broken your heart. They could be a soulmate, twin flame, whatever you call them. But this person's shady. And they're always like hiding something from you is kind of what I'm getting. And they could move on 
or you're going to move on but it's like there's closure issues here but i feel like this is just not the right person for you i know it's not the right person for you i don't know why i sugarcoat everything i guess it's a scorpio in me wanting to sugarcoat things well actually we don't we could do both sides of it right but there's something here but this person is just not the right one for you and you seem to know it but it's hard to let them go Again, we have an earth sign who wants to be in a relationship i get that's the taurus manifest them or they are the one being shady. So you you need to know who's who in your life. Because you got a lot of people coming through today. And I got you got people who are being shady and people. Um, oh, they're saying there could be secret love though. There was a Taurus that secretly Seven of Swords is waiting for you. But reach out for them. I'm getting that there's, again, you need to take action. You need to reach out to people. You need to go after people for if they owe you money. If you think someone likes you and they could be, you know, someone that you could get along with and have a great experience with, reach out, reach out, reach out. Send the messages. The worst thing that can happen is they don't respond or they just say no, whatever. And if it's something to do with money, you need to know that now instead of when it's dire. So talk to, you know, talk to whoever you need to talk to and get answers. So... All right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.